Congratulations. Oh, I want to see that ring. Oh, it's lovely. You don't think it's too big? Oh, there's no such thing, dear. <laughs> Almost got you a rebate there. I uh, only wish I could have afforded an even bigger one. Mm. Well, I want to hear all about the proposal. Tell me everything. We went for a mountain bike ride to a secluded spot in Rock Creek Park. We did it there. Oh. Or I did it there. Romantic. Very. The two of us and my secret service detail. <laughs> when are you thinking about having the wedding? As soon as possible. We don't want to distract from the election, of course, but any time after that could work. A White House wedding at Christmas? No, I don't, I don't think she wants that. What? To do it here. What could be more wonderful? Oh, no, no, undoubtedly. A White House wedding would be very beautiful and terribly romantic. But inevitably, it would be quite a bit of a spectacle. You know, and all of us, Ellie has been the one who shied away from the spotlight. Why don't you consider having the wedding after your father has left the office entirely? Sure. You want to turn your back on a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? Hopefully, the wedding is the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You would seriously consider not getting married in the White House? Well, you could do something very private at the farm. Where? At the moment, is the less pressing concern. There's another consideration that may need to take precedence, as far as scheduling goes. And, you know, why we might not want to wait. Oh. Well, we should probably get Right on to scheduling that, then. I'm sorry for the interruption, Mr. President. Yeah, Ellie. Nancy, this is our new son-in-law-to-be, Vic Faison. Oh, nice to meet you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Sir, uh, CJ and Oliver Babish would like to speak with you. Oh, of course. Excuse me, please. Oh. Silver 